Now. Ovo broj, što se radi ovdje? Uze. Čaj broj srpski da te ceo svet razume, alo. Brate, mi ćemo raditi u skillze, znaš šta? Na šta mene zovu? Mene zovu Lazar Nović. Skibote. Drži ovo pivce. Nemo mi polomiš. Nović ga. Mrš! Daj mi se to pivo malo. Alright guys, we all know a guy like that. You don't want to be that guy, but don't worry. In this video, we're going to show you how to do pull-ups and do correct back workouts. Hello, bro. What are you doing, Kenya? What? You're going to be a little bit more. in the beginning of this video but we have all been there at one point every expert was a beginner with bad form incorrect form learning through the process but if you stick with this video we'll show you exactly how to get a bigger back today we'll be concentrating on three things form control and explosiveness with the pull-up bar calisthenics workout First, we're gonna start with giving you tips on how to do a pull-up, so let's begin. All right, guys, so before starting these exercises, very, very important, you must, must warm up if you want to avoid injuries. All right, so start off with 10 burpees, okay? After that, 10 jumping jacks. Once that's done, some likes. Make Shoulder sure rotations, like we call these the likes. Take the other way, make sure you warm up that rotator cuff. All right, now that we're warmed up, we can begin the routines. And remember, if you're blessed to live somewhere where it's warm, still warm up. But if you live somewhere where it's cold, like zero degree weather that we're recording in right now, make sure you take those warm ups seriously. Don't forget that. But remember, no excuses. Let's get to work. The first routine deals with form. So the first exercise, which deals with all the exercises in the routine is a pull-up. You want to jump on a bar. Hands about shoulder width apart, a little more than that. You don't want to be fully dead hang. It puts too much pressure on your elbows. You want scapula retraction. Pull your shoulder blades down and back. Your chin up to the bar and above the bar. And come back down nice and controlled. Now, do not cheat yourself. The biggest thing people do is I see many times in gyms, at parks, they shorten their reps. They either do really high, short, they think they're getting money, or they go all the way down and come up a little bit, and they count that. It does not count. You need full range of controlled motion. Also, no kipping. Show them how kipping looks like with the knees. It does not count. The real way to build strength is slowly through the process. The number one way to also get more pull-ups, it's simple. Consistency. Train hard, put in the hard work, and you'll get the results. It's hailing right now. It's making things a little bit more difficult, but remember, no excuses. Where there's a will, there's a way. First exercise for routine number one is 10 regular pull-ups. We'll be doing three different types of grips in this first routine. Remember, clean, you get the point. We showed you how to do it exactly. This is how perfect pull-ups look. This is what you're gonna work towards getting. Also, ultimate beginners, if you can do full range of motion of a pull-up, you must start from the ground, jump up into the pull-up, and go into a negative. Just like that. Exercise number two, inner pull-ups. Now, a lot of people ask us, how do you get bigger arms or how do you get bigger back? The key is closer grip pull-ups works more arms than it works back. The wider you go on a pull-up, it works more back and less arms. So if you want bigger arms, do more inner pull-ups. You want bigger back, do wider pull-ups. If you want a combination of both of those, do all of these like we're doing. Exercise three, wide pull-ups. Again, everything clean form, 
chin above bar, you're not rushing, everything is controlled. Also another tip on the wide pull-ups, if I'm training someone, they say, you all get in wide form and it's not wide enough. Remember, regular is here, wider is about two hand legs even wider than that. That's how you really engage the lats. Also another huge tip, since I've suffered from golfer's elbow because I was using too much of my arms to pull on pull-ups instead of my back. Make sure mentally you think that you're pulling your back together first then arms. A lot of people flare their elbows forward and use all arms and are barely engaging their lats. Now let's move on to the fourth exercise. Okay, exercise number four, we showed you three so far. Regular pull-up, inner pull-up, wide pull-up. Why? You're hitting middle back, inner part of your back, wide part of your back. That's how you hit all areas so that it becomes wide and big. Fourth exercise is an Australian pull-up. This bar is a little high, but for ultimate beginners, it's actually perfect. If you can't do an Australian pull-up on a low bar, you should do it on a high bar just like this. Grab the bar, shoulder width apart, bring the chest to the bar. The key is to squeeze the middle of your back together. The intermediate version. If your bar is too high, get some type of platform you can elevate yourself on. He's totally horizontal. He's lifting up, fighting against gravity, pulling his back together coming back up. This is getting now the middle of the back after you tack all sides on the pull-up bar. This all together will help you master the form for your back. And keep your core tight. All right guys, so the next routine is controlled. We're gonna get on the pull-up bar. Now, five seconds up. Don't cheat yourself, don't count too fast, don't count too slow. Up, and then five, five seconds, seconds down. down. All right. Another thing is make sure when you're at the top, chin goes above the bar, not head touches the bar or below. You have to go all the way up. Remember, now this routine is control. So now this scapular retraction, you're really learning how to utilize your back and squeeze. Remember, mind to body connection. You squeeze the whole time. That's the first exercise. Now we're gonna move on to exercise number two. Tight riders. This exercise is great for getting the whole back shredded. Since you are losing leverage in the middle of your back and in the side of your back, your whole back has to work. You can see the striations all over the back, not only the upper portion, but the lower portion as well. You wanna move left to right. He's moving his legs because he likes to use his core while he's doing the exercise. But if you guys don't want to, you don't have to. Exercise number three in routine number two for control is a 90, snowing, a 90 degree pull up hold. Again, everything still relates from how we told you to do a pull up, but you want your, from your hand to your shoulder to make a 90 degree angle. You hold this for time. It is a static hold. It is gonna challenge your muscles in a different way than when you're moving up and down. You are fighting against gravity now. As you can see, as time passes, his body begins to shake. The more you shake, the better. Give your best. Fight all the way until you can't hold anymore. But for this exercise, 30 seconds. Do your max. Sorry, just getting warmed up in mid-workout in this cold weather. Fourth exercise, Australian pull-ups back to the low bar, also known as back rows. But now we are doing it for time as a static Pull. Now you want to pull and squeeze your back as tight Remember, as you can. We're working all areas of the back. Now we're working the middle. We're also working secondary muscles, the arms. As you can see, the veins are flaring. Now, if you couldn't do exercise number three, the pull-up hold, do this one. But if you could, do this one as the fourth to push yourself fully. Now, next routine, the fun one, explosive. Routine number three. Remember, all these routines are made as progressions. You can't do the control slow part unless you master the form. You can't do the explosive unless you master the control and the form. Number three, explosive, the fun one for explosive power. First exercise, explosive pull-ups. Now, you're not doing them slow anymore for control and form. You're doing control and form, but fast. You're working your fast twitch muscle fibers. Now, as you progress, you're gonna be going chin above the bar. As you get stronger, chest to bar. As you get stronger, abs, and then super strong, hips. The hips. Now, as we talked about, exercise number two is now chest to bar. So now you did chin above bar, clean, explosive, quick repetitions, but still clean form. 
Now chest the bar. Notice as he squeezes his back at the top, he hits the bar, he comes back down. Don't hit it too hard or you'll pop your sternum and that will not be good. Push yourself. Exercise number three, clap pull-ups. Make sure you have the correct power before you do this because if you slip on a bar, we do not want you to get injured. Make sure you have enough power to pull up high enough to clap mid-air and while falling, you have time to grab the bar, control on the way down. Exercise number four, back rows. Explosive. Hard work, bloody hand, we're still working. Now, same position, if you can't do number three exercise, this is your number three, but if you did three, this is number four to completely burn out. You're working fast twitch muscle fibers for that power. As fast as you can, but still control the form, chest to bar, up and down. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, explode, let go, grab. All right, guys, now that's how you get a bigger back. Now, if you know anybody with horrible form, copy this link and send it to someone. Share it. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. We want to help you become the best that you can be, so make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to stay in contact with us, make sure you follow our Instagrams and Facebooks. Be the best you can be. Bar, Bar Brothers, Brothers all day, day every day. day.